Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 19. It's 1973 where the Philadelphia Phillies, and we've been had a very busy off season. Um, there should actually be off season center. Yes, off season summary by team. Uh, so yeah, this is actually a great way to show you what we've accomplished and what we haven't accomplished. So we lost 5.5 .5 war in free agency, but we gained tw our, we lost 12 players, um, but we gained five, and the five we gained are so good that they should more than make up for what we lost. And so in terms of war gained, we're 11th. The Mets really did well. Who did the Mets sign? Why are people so high on the Mets this year? And why isn't my, my mouse wheel working? Oh, I see. Oh, they picked up Gaylord Perry and Hank Air. Yeah, they just signed everybody they possibly could. We don't have that kind of salary base. We're going to have to have some conversations with people actually about extensions. Who on this team most desperately needs to be extended before they become expensive? Maybe Joe Lease, but here's the problem. <gasps> Move him to first. He's a terrible first baseman. Damn it. Well, that puts a damper in my plans. It's fine. It's fine. We'll think about who we might want to extend as the game progresses. Um, Greg Lazinski is super cheap, a really good hitter. I would like to extend you. I would give you a five-year deal at 110 each year. No. How about a three-year deal? And I'll give you an extra... 50 grand each year so that you're making 200 grand in year three okay good locking him up is going to be very important because he's going to be a big part of our team but let's make some important spring training decisions so right now we are boasting 12 pitchers and my goal, again, is to do 11 pitchers and 14 hitters. I know in the past people have said, quite rightly, that you want a bigger bullpen. But we're still in the era where I think I can get away with a four-man rotation for a couple more years. And so with that being said, Downs is going to go down. Pun intended, absolutely. Um, I might actually just wave Garber. No, he'll be useful. And how many more pitchers is that? Oh, that actually puts me at 10 pitchers, and I needed at least 11. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we do need one more pitcher. Are there any other free agent relievers? Not good ones. Cut off a Willie McCovey a deal. He's still got some talent. Um, What do I do about this pitching staff? I need one more pitcher. I'm going to call Dave Downs back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven starters. Don't worry, some of those guys are going to get converted into bullpen. Uh, Fred Norman, I would like you to join the 40-man roster as an official member of the Phillies. Okay, catchers. Stearns is already a better catcher than Freed defensively, and he's already a better hitter, albeit with not quite as much power. He's got even more room to grow, but I would like to give him a shot. So you get a 40-man roster deal, too. As is Bob Beal, because they literally have no one else to play first base. 
And I think he'll offer a very useful form of... Um, we have way too many outfielders. Woods, obvious choice. So I've got Tolan, Lease, and Luzinski. Gamble I'd like to play in the minors to play every day. I don't need Ziegler. Boss, I prefer to play every day. I have way too many. I have four second basemen. I don't need four second basemen. Especially one of them is Denny Doyle, who sucks. Will anyone give me anything at all for Denny Doyle? Probably not. I can get a crappy first baseman. Yeah. I'm literally actually just going to cut Denny Doyle. I mean, he offers nothing to the team. He's not popular. He's not good at anything. He's an okay second baseman. I'll just wave him. I'm not going to cut him. I'll wave him, though. I did say wave him. I said wave and designate, didn't I? I guess maybe I didn't. Okay. All right. So that's going to be our starting roster. Let's advance to opening day. <clears throat> top 100 prospects of anyone in the top 10 I probably don't uh, John Stearns is number 38 I thought I saw two players from Philly Al Woods also was quite popular And I have no pitchers. I have literally two prospects in the top 100. I almost certainly have one of the lower rankings. Yeah. Oh, I did get a pitcher there. Christensen. Interesting. How did I acquire you? Did he just, like, kind of show up? Oh, you know, I might have started with him. He might have been someone that was already in my system. Okay. So let's set the roster. Clear all the things. Right. Steve Carlton is my number one. I think no one would dispute this. But who's my number two? Norman. And Twitchell is number three. Oh, Larry Christensen made the team. That was not my intent, but I'm glad he's there, I guess. He's not on the 40-man yet, either. Yeah, I don't want you here yet. I would much rather find another reliever like Roy Thomas. Even a bad reliever, so that I don't start your clock too soon. Yeah, Roy Thomas is just going to eat up innings every now and again. He's got good stamina. So it'll be a good long reliever. My number four starter is Champion. That was pretty easy. Okay, right away. Lursh, you have awful, awful stamina. Please make yourself into a relief pitcher post haste. Yeah. All right, so this leaves Reynolds and Downs to basically be... Downs has a really low ceiling, and his stamina's not that great. How good a reliever would you be? You're actually a pretty respectable reliever. Okay. So, Hiller, your role is easy. You're going to be my lefty specialist... And you're going to get some middle relief innings. Because I don't think you have a very drastic split. You can handle righties okay. You're better against lefties, but you can handle righties. Tug McGraw, you're going to be my stopper. 
You're going to be the guy whose arm I basically pitch until it falls off. Because you're just the best pitcher on the team. Then we have some interesting choices to make. Um, I need just generic middle relievers. Let's go ahead and make Dave Downs a middle reliever. Uh, Reynolds will be a long reliever. Thomas will be a long reliever. But I'm going to make him long middle. Because I think Dave's Dave's future is as a middle reliever, not as a uh, starter. Which leaves LeGrau and Lersh. And I'd rather have Lersh as, as, uh, as another middle reliever too. I'll make them both middle relievers and then we'll see how people are doing. I can't believe we took one of the best... We took the reliever of the year and made him into a starter. But he's totally happy with that. And he can stay there until I need him to go back to the bullpen. Okay. Now before we get too disappointed, too sanguine about this, don't forget we've got two world-class starting pitchers. Well, a very good one and a world-class starting pitcher. Um, healing. And when that happens, we'll be in some pretty good stuff. All right, let's build our lineups now. Uh, clear all the lineups. All right. So let's think about how we want to build our team. Tolan strikes me as the prototypical leadoff guy, and so I think that's what we'll do with him. I wish he had a little bit... Um, but he really, really sucks at drawing walks. But I also don't want to give Stearns that much pressure. So I will go ahead. We'll make Tolan the leadoff guy. Greg Lazinski is my number three hitter for now. Mike Schmidt's going to hit cleanup. Um, no. Lease will hit cleanup. I think maybe we do something a little different. Do I want to make Schmidt hit second or make Schmidt hit fifth? Because I want him to be in a position where when he hits homers, they're meaningful. So I think maybe we make Schmidt the fifth place hitter. Okay, now we're going to go super unconventional. I'm going to make Beal my second place hitter. Okay, sixth place hitter. Who's my right fielder? Oh, it's, um, yeah, Lease is playing right field. Don't be stupid. So I've got second base, shortstop, and catcher left. Do I hit Stern 6th? I think I do. Um, second base, wow. I have some pretty awful second base. And I guess Silicato is fine. No, Harmon is the best actual second baseman. Silicato's not bad. I'd be willing to let him start and just see how he can handle things. And then Boa will play shortstop for one more season, I guess. I don't want to, but I will. Really, Boa? Why don't you want to play? Is it because I said mean things about you? Well, I'm not sorry. I'm not even a little bit sorry. Alright, now generate some depth charts. I'm really interested to see how Beal does in this role. Because he's a good contact hitter with good gap power and very good discipline. Um, I have very high hopes for you. Being a nice under-the-radar type first baseman. 
Stearns is the other one. I mean, this guy was literally a first-round draft pick, and he went straight to the majors because he's such a good catcher. I'm really excited about this. I could also play him at first base, but I'm kind of happy with what I got at first. All right. Afreed is not starting that frequently. He's just not. Um, I'm going to have you start once a week. If you want to swap around the second baseman, that's fine. Not one of them is, is any better than any other, and that'll at least give me a chance to sort out who I want to play what position. Uh, once a week. We're just going to get some backups a little extra time early on in the season just because I want to see what they can do. I'm happy with the outfield, but there's also a lot of room to improve in the rest of the um, lineup. Right. So, let's get her done. Carlton is rested, right? Yeah. And away we go. A personal message. Oh, Cincinnati claimed Denny Doyle. Oh, no. I could have maybe turned him into a reliever, but his control is... Oh, no, you're the second base hitter. Right. Mm. Enjoy him. I need to start checking out the waiver wire more. And I got an extension with Luzinski. Excellent. Um, eh, someone will play shortstop. Bobby Tolan hitting over 400 is not something I expected, but I'm pleasantly surprised with. Nice winning streak of six. I, I approve. Uh, Tolan got five hits, including a homer and a double. Nice. Uh, a lovely shutout for our good friend Wayne Twitchell. He's enjoying his conversion to starter quite a lot. Champ Summers is a brilliant name. Uh, Bill Champion had himself a shutout. Very nice. Rookie Star of the Month. Is it Stearns? It's Beal. Okay. Now, the real question is, is he just, is he just hitting for... He's got a couple of doubles, and he's definitely drawing walks. And is he playing first base effectively? He's doing okay. And okay is okay by me. Six wings for Luzinski. Losing him sucks. Let's call up Gamble. Right, so what'll happen here... Oh, lineups overview. I'm going to move Lee to left field where he's actually semi competent. He's actually getting worse at playing the outfield. I'm going to move him up to third. Move Schmidt up to clean up. And then we're going to slot in Gamble and right. There we go. Uh, let's look at our pitching staff and see how people are handling their lives. Not well. Not well. Lurch is getting there. We'll just have to see how these guys do as they get more practice pitching. Uh, 
that since spring training. Freed has been suspended. We're off to a reasonably hot start. I had to say it. I had to. And now we've just lost Oscar Gamble. Al Woods only play center. We could play left too. I really don't want to call him up yet though. Do we have literally anyone else who could play outfield? No, we don't. Because uh, I don't want to wreck him like I wrecked Christensen. But it seems like he's like dominating in AAA. So maybe he's just doesn't need it. And I'm going to put Al Woods in left field. 19 year old. Damn. The season has not gone off the way I hoped it would. I, as I, I mean I got through telling you how much depth we had in the outfield. And now we're just. Yeah. All right, you're back to right. You're playing in left. You're in left. You're in right. Lease might actually be a good trade candidate, especially if we can't keep this, this hot streak we're on. What the shit? Why do so many people keep getting hurt all of a sudden? Now Stearns goes to the DL. And I guess Jim Essien. You're going to be a backup catcher. You are really good defensively. But the trouble is, is that you suck. At catching. Or you suck at hitting. So we'll actually be freed. That'll be playing catcher. I go ahead and generate me some depth charts now. And then we'll take a quick peek at them. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Okay. What the crap? Why is literally everyone that can get hurt getting hurt? This is so frustrating. <sighs> you had to break your bloody foot, Tolan. Are any of my various injured fillies ready to come back. No. None of them are. Alright. So we need someone to start at left field. Simply by virtue of the fact they've been healthy the whole season, Schmidt and Bissett have been the two best. Um, I'm going to go ahead and promote Bissett to being starting second baseman. Because he's played really, really well. And the other guy has played really, really poorly. And then we'll rebuild things here in a second. Most employed woman he now is the new left fielder. I guess it's... Yeah, because Woods is going to shift to center. I guess you can play left. But you're not leading off. I'd actually rather have Woods lead off. And freed hit fifth. Okay, go ahead and just copy this lineup and then we'll generate some new depth charts. Yeah, okay. So Silicata will still get moved in, but I think Bissett has won that particular competition. 
If for no other reason the fact he's gotten really lucky with his hits, I can't count on that happening all the time, obviously, but... Now who's bloody injured? Oh, it's a player development update. Twitchell is improving. Thomas is getting better. Putting on a little bit of velocity. Um, Ryan's stuff is slipping, but his control and his movement are getting better. Uh, Cam Reynolds added a new pitch. <gasps> Ooh. Ken Reynolds is a screwball pitcher now. He might actually be a reasonable starter if he can develop that. Fred Norman got better. Tug McGraw got a bit worse. Lirsch got worse. Legro got worse. Carlton slipped a bit. Stearns keeps getting better, even though he's injured. Freed got better, now that he actually has a chance to play every day. Uh, B all slipped a tiny bit. Rogodzinski is hot garbage. I can't believe I genuinely thought at any point that I had depth in the outfield because now it's virtually all gone. Damn it. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of help if we're going to make the playoffs this year. Yeah, we're starting to slide a bit. Getting Lazinski back helps a lot. Because then I can take Jerkwad here and send him down to the minors. Which is where he belongs. Because he sucks. Luzinski. Mate. Let's push everybody down. And let's get Greg going again. Oh, no, wait. Um, who's the better contact hitter? Actually, it is Luzinski. So, yeah, he's totally cool where he is. All right. We're getting people back now. That's going to help some. Twitchell got another shutout. Oscar Gamble is back. I'm going to send Cleo James down to the minors. And we're going to call... I get Stearns back, too. Now we're starting to cook a bit, maybe. If we can get I'll finally get all of our team put together. Okay, without one-tenth of a second's hesitation... Get Stearns back in there. Every single day. And then generate us our depth charts. And again, no. I don't want you starting him that frequently. I mean, Stearns is my catcher, and I want him to be catching as often as he can be. <laughs> Ten walks. Awesome. What else do we have here? Oh, okay. Fred Norman would like an, ex an extension. You know... I think I could live with that. So let's first look at the team. How much do I have for extensions? I have a lot of money for extensions. And Fred Norman's been pretty okay. So I will give you an extension. We're going to rejigger the deal a bit to be a little more backloaded. 
All right. I don't know what to do about Lease yet. Harmon, I'm just going to probably non-tender. His play in second isn't good enough to overcome the fact he can't hit his way out of a, a wet paper bag. A personal message. Excellent. Trade proposal. You will give me Terry Crowley. No. I like my first baseman. Shut up. Tolan. Yes. I'm just going to keep Woods in the majors. It'll hold back his development slightly. But... Eh? Maybe Woods can get some reps at the other outfield positions. Stop it. I'm going to freaking trade Freed if you don't stop trying to find a way to force him into the lineup. Not over Stern. Stearns needs development time. And you're going to bring in Woods somewhat frequently to spell him, and I'm fine with that. Woods might be the kind of player who's better to trade at some point than he is to keep. Once again, the Pirates are just dominating. I wish you weren't in their stupid division, but there's not much I can do about that. Mail and or news. Don't care. Oh no, not Larry Bell. Uh -huh. A trade proposal. No, you're not getting Wayne Twitchell. He's either going to be a starter or a reliever for me. He will do one of those two things. And you're just going to have to accept it. I'm not trading him. Midseason. Uh, he wants me to do a little bit better. He wants stolen bases better. But he's overall pretty happy. And some people are going to be walking. Which I am personally okay with. I'll definitely get a new general manager. Our hitting coach. Who do you get along well with? Oh, you focus on patience. That's not a bad thing to have, but it... Yeah, and we'll definitely get a new team trainer. I'm sick of all the injuries. I'm happy to let all these guys walk. Who does Jim Hodges help develop? Nobody. Okay. Fair enough. I have no ground ballers. Oh, yeah. Ken Reynolds. I'm afraid you're needed elsewhere. Oh, who do we actually sit? I think it's got to be Bill Champion. Because there's no way it's going to be Nolan Ryan. That doesn't start. I'll start you there. Norman will be the fourth starter now. Bill Champion. Okay, your your control's never going to be the best, Roy. Oh, you're already set to be a relief pitcher. Okay. I'd like you to be a middle reliever, please. I feel kind of bad because Chamber was really good for me last season, and he's pretty good this season, but he's not Nolan Ryan good. Carlton. Yeah, I would feel we're actually blowing out Carlton's arm by asking him to pitch so much. 
we might shift to a five-man rotation. Yes. We're going to switch to a five-man rotation. I'm going to let Champion be the fifth starter. We have enough good pitchers now that it makes sense actually to go for a five-man rotation. And I'm also going to go ahead and say to... No, nah, we'll, we'll keep this right now. Which will mean that Carlton and Ryan will get the majority of the starts, followed by Twitchell. We might even change that here in the not-too-distant future. A proposal of the trade variety. You would give me a bad second baseman for a bad reliever. I will trade you, actually. But only if I can get good value for you. A bad first baseman is not good value. I'm sorry if you thought it was, but it's not. Pat Kelly, no. Ken McMullen, hell no. Uh, I'm fine for catching. Although the idea of adding someone like Manny Sanguian is pretty tempting, but I've got a rookie catcher who's basically already Manny Sanguian. Yeah, I think we're good. Boston it will give me a minor league catcher. No. Yeah, Larry Bow, you probably just ended your career with the Phillies because I already don't like you. Russell Klobos. Is anyone else ready to become a shortstop in the major leagues? Just Klobos. Okay. Well, let's take a quick look. Who's actually the best person that plays shortstop on this team? I didn't say stats. I said ratings. Actually, I probably did say stats. It's Klobos. Okay. So, yeah, mate. You're the new starting shortstop. Who's cold? Silicato is cold. Well, there's a reason why he's not getting the majority of the playing time anymore. A Mike shit hitting two Mike Schmidt Mike shit Mike Schmidt hitting two eighty eight is very scary for the rest of the league. And it looks like his power's off slightly. It looks like some of what used to be home runs are doubles, but he'll get better at that as he just gets more playing time. Yeah, we're. I'm not really winning or losing many of these. How long are you injured for? Day to day for four days. He is a lefty, and that's literally the only thing he has that Kem Reynolds doesn't. Oh, Carlton shut out the Astros. Suck it, Astros. Detroit. You would send me a pretty good defensive shortstop who can't hit. And I'm seriously thinking of taking it because we're so thin at shortstop in the minors. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. If you give me another prospect, I will make this deal because we desperately need shortstop help in the minor leagues. Sort by potential. Why would you think I'd want to sort by overall? Wow. 
Detroit kind of has some crappy players. Uh, Ron Cash is kind of interesting. No, he's actually not that interesting. I will, yeah, would you give me Vern Rule? Oh, he's injured, so I can't trade for him. What about Dennis, uh, Dennis Blair? Mm, maybe. Did you throw in Dennis Blair? No. Danny Fife, how about that? Can I get another player from you? Uh, sure, Raul Colon. I'm going to submit the offer to you and see if you take it. I don't want Cologne badly enough to make the deal, to hold up the deal if, yeah. And I don't think any of those players are going to go straight to them. Oh, you would need to at least be placed on the 40, man. That's fine. I'll put you on the 40, man, and then send you to triple. No. Okay, she's a sprained ankle. The problem is the Pirates were so good in the 70s. It's going to be tough to shake their dominance of the division without a lot of luck. And All-Star Game announcement. Some good names here. Burp Lie 11, Fergie Jenkins, Phil Negro. This is in the knuckleball days, right? Yeah, it is. Raleigh Fingers. Okay. Steve Carlton, Tug McGraw, Dave Downs. So we got three relievers. Starter in three years. Mike Schmidt makes his first All-Star game. And it looks like that'll be it. Congratulations, Mike Schmidt. May it be the first of many. I'll apply to the training. I'm not going to bother playing the, the All-Star game this year. I don't think it's going to be all that interesting. San Francisco will offer me... Dick McAuliffe, no... Ed Figueroa, no. For Fred Norman. Norman's a good pitcher. Why on earth would I just hand him to you for a song? Stop bothering me. Oh, snap. So much of the song mutation idea. God, really? Gene Garber? Alright. You can at least throw a strike, so that's not the worst thing I could have in a fifth starter. Nolan Ryan has lost all three of his starts so far. He's walking too many and not striking enough out. He'll work on that, though. And five starts, he's almost, four starts, he's almost what he had last season in 12, so. I'm hoping he can bounce back and show off some quality. Well, the NL one, that, that's good. Uh, Nolan Ryan got his first win as a Philadelphia Philly. 
let's view the box score. How did Mike Schmidt enjoy his day? You really played Richie freaking Hebner over Mike Schmidt, who came in as a pinch hitter, drew a walk, and scored a run. Steve Carlton least pitched a scoreless inning. Tim McGraw pitched well. Oh, my other pitcher didn't even get in the... Yeah, I did. Downs got in the game. I just don't see him. Hmm. All right. Yeah, unless we can get some kind of real hot streak going right now, which basically Nolan Ryan will start dominating. So I start striking fools out. That's going to be a big part of it. And then the other big part is just us, you know, player development. I think as Ryan's getting worse, uh, other people are getting better. Terry Harmon got better. Uh, Russell Klobos improved pretty much across the board. I still like we're kind of wasting Mike Schmidt, who hasn't even reached his prime yet. He's at the, just at the beginning of his career. We basically need to sweep the Pirates in like a couple of three game series. Now Steve Carlton suspended. Stupid Clay Kirby. Dick. Let's see if Carlton's leading the league in war again. Didn't get him Cy Young last year, so I don't see why it would this year. Montreal's real tough this year, too. It's not really an there's not really an obvious name I can see there. I mean, okay, so who do the Expos have this year? Tim Foley, Matty Alou, Mike Jorgensen, Larry Parrish. They do have a couple of good pitchers, but I mean, as I'm looking at this team, I don't really see any outstanding talent. I wonder why they're playing so well this year, except for stealing a bunch of bases and their starters all being quite good. Hmm. Back to Tefilis. And let's sim to the end of the regular season. I think I know I'm not making it. You know I'm not making the playoffs. Woody Fryman can come back. I'd like you to go ahead and get some time rehabbing in the minors. That's all I'll have you do this season. We'll just say you don't pitch this season. And maybe we'll bring you back next year. Oh, three straight against the Phillies. Or the Phillies against the, the Mets. What's really sad is we're winning too many. We're winning again a lot of games, which means we're going to get another crappy draft pick. I make my owner happy, but it doesn't make me happy. Uh, Nolan Ryan tossed a shutout. Nice work. Ten strikeouts, three walks. Uh, yeah. Let's finish the playoffs. Kind of a downer, I know. I don't care about the player development update. Although it is cool that actually um, Thomas is actually increasing his velocity. That's always good to see. Always good. Until the playoffs end. 
Pittsburgh and LA versus Oakland and Baltimore. Baltimore just swept. I forgot to fix that. And I didn't remember to look it up either. So you can let me know in the comments if it should probably be five games or seven. I always remember the League Championship Series being seven games, though. It was only when they did the Division Series that it was five games. Yeah, it is seven games. For sure. So I'm going to fix that right now. And then we will... And so congratulations to the Baltimore Orioles, who win themselves a series of the world variety. I'm a little concerned about this team. Steve Carlton might actually get his freaking win this year. All right, before we do anything else, let me fix that. Um, League and teams? No. Options? Yes. It's best of seven. Please and thank you. Okay. So, um, next time, um... We'll be going through the offseason trying to build a team that might someday make the World Series. I don't have huge hopes of that happening anytime soon, but we'll see. But until next time, this has been Avindian. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about uh, this Phillies team. Do we have a good core? I don't know. But until next time, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.